starting with his beautifully toned 1969 S. Lincoln and with double die of verse. About uncirculated coin at AU58 grade assigned by PCGS and CAC endorsed for Excelsior. Die doubling is evident on the date, all lettering and Lincoln's bow tie. The 1969 is double die Lincoln's and is premier rarity in the series for rarity collectors. Few examples have been found and the grading survey population likely include duplication from upgrade attempts. PCGS reports over 50 grading events, almost all of which are for lightly circulated brown coins. The overall rarity of this coin gives the king of the Lincoln scent variety a comfortable seat among the greatest modern US coins as said by some well-known numismatists. This piece showcases beautiful sea green and blue toning over the interiors, with the original copper red luster clinging to the protected portions of the fields. High point friction is trivial and eye appeal is outstanding for the grade. Sold on August 16, 2018 for $28,800 at heritage auctions. Moving on to this Washington Quarter, impressed in 1946 with pristine preservation and vivid patination, graded at Mint State 68 by PCGS and provided with CAC sticker. Rich cartwheel luster shows on each side, but the hallmark is a vivid toning that entirely covers the obverse and the portion of the reverse. The variegated color borrows from the purple pink green gold and blue green palettes in splendid array. Almost perfect preservation puts this piece into small class. Sold on October 7, 2022 for $6,600 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1846 seated Liberty of dollar of tall date variety and with lush multicolor toning. The tall date is scarcer than, than its medium date counterpart, though both logotypes are collectible. This is a proof-like example with needle-sharp strike and reflective fields. The coin is splendidly toned, fire-red, orange-gold and electric blue. An interesting rim cut is visible on a verse rim at 6 o'clock. How to distinguish tall date from the medium one, you can ask. Telling the two apart is actually quite easy. On the medium date, the bottom of the crosslet on the four nearly touches the right edge of the bottom serif of the four. On the tall date, they are widely separated. The tall date logotype was also used on same 1846 large cents. So this beautiful gem ended up selling for $12,000 on October 7, 2022 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this proof 1953 Jefferson Nickel grade as PR68 Deep Cameo by PCGS. 1953 proof set mintage were modest relative to later dates and only minuscule percentage of specimens exhibit exceptional white on black contrast. The present Deep Cameo lot also benefits from essentially pristine preservation, brilliant and beautiful. Sold on October 7, 2022 for $5,760. Here is 1961 Franklin half dollar at Mint State 66 with full bell lines. The full bell line or FBL is designation used to describe a Franklin half dollar that has complete bell lines. The designation is used as indicator of strike quality. Dappled golden brown, olive green and ice blue toning consumes the obverse. The reverse is mostly brilliant aside from generous blush of orange red color near the denomination. The lustrous and virtually immaculate surfaces are well impressed. It displays full separation on the lines on the bottom of the Liberty Bell on the reverse. Sold on October 7, 2022 for $4,440. This is 1942 Liberty Half Dollar with vivid rainbow toning, an elusive CAC endorsed PR68 example of the final year proof walking Liberty Half Dollar. Each side is beautifully preserved, showing pristine mirrors and satiny devices all cast in vivid rainbow toning. I appeal is stunning. Sold on August 18, 2021 for $60,000. Here is one super rare painting in terms of such toning, 1912 Lincoln Scent at PR 67 brown grade. The 1912 matte proof Lincoln Scent claims a mintage of 2172 pieces. One of the middle range totals for a short set. 
This Super Gem is fully toned in eye-catching guys blue patina. Gold and violet accents also appear on each side. Finally, textured surfaces are free of contact and readily appealing. Strong rims and complete design detail confirms the proof origin. Sold on January 10, 2019 for $6,000 at Heritage Auctions. Next comes 1881S Morgan Dollar, another charming piece with vivid toning. Grade at Miss Day 66 by PCGS. The 1881S is a common date, although attractively toned pieces can command a strong premium. This premium gem displays vivid sea green, violet, gold, and rose hues across of birds with crescent of more traditional sky blue, gold, and amber in the left reverse margin. Sold on October 31st. 2022 for $6,600. Here is 1945D Mercury Dime at mid stay 68 with full bands on reverse. A conditionally rare high end superb gem example of this Denver issue, showing full bands, sharpness, and vibrant mint luster. Deep cobalt blue and sea green hues adorn each side with hints of gold on reverse as well. Neither side exhibits buzzers and abrasions. No full bands pieces are numerically finer. Sold on September 6, 2022 for $1540 at Heritage Auctions. Here comes 1928 Peace Dollar at Miss Day 66. The 1928 serves as one of the most famous keys in entire Peace Dollar set with a mintage of 360,649 circulation strike. It's not quite the most conditional rare issue in the series, but its overall popularity and scarcity in the upper reeds of mint state make it all but impossible for most collectors to even obtain as fine as premium gem offered here. Indeed, none are numerically finer at either PCGS or NGC. Natural antique patina includes shades of golden gray and gum metal. Vibrant luster shines through, highlighting the impeccable design detail and clean surfaces. Sold on October 6, 2022 for $44,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1936 Boone Half Dollar at Midday 68, among the finest known, a sharply struck, beautifully preserved super gem example of this Boone Half Dollar issue showing luminous satin luster beneath original amber gold and russet toning. I appeal is excellent. The 1936 Boone Half Dollar is a major rarity in this grade and is unknown numerically finer. Sold on October 7, 2022 for $3,360. Moving on to this old $5 coin from 1875. The regular Liberty Head Half Eagle design for this year. Struck in copper with reeded edge. The four or five examples of Jude 1441 extant were almost certainly struck for inclusion in off-metal sets made for sale to collectors. The rarity of the regular issue circulation strike, 1875 Half Eagle with 200 coins minted and only 8 confirmed survivors, heightens the desirability of and demand for these patterns, that at least one of which has been guilted. This chocolate brown premium gem exhibits wild toning in shades of blue, violet, green, gold, and orange. Predictably clean and fully struck. Sold on October 6, 2022 for $15,600. And for the last, this 1942 P Jefferson Nickel with neon toning. This 1942 P Type 2 Jefferson Nickel serves as the main PCGS Coinfax plate coin for the issue. One of 27,600 proofs struck and among the first mint marked Philadelphia products. The present Super Gem is bested by only one other PR69 in non cameo category at PCGS. I Apple is incredible, with neon shades of green, blue, pink, and gold around minimal toned centers. Both sides are utterly pristine as expected of a proof coin at this grade level. This time for the top registry set. Sold on August 18, 2021 for $12,600 at Heritage Auctions.